This home opens up to the second story in the living room as well as when you first walk in. And here on the second floor, it has this very large game room that opens up to a media room that has a view off the backyard. Stick around for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. More on that a little bit later. Today, we're walking through the Goodrich plan with Coventry Homes. This plan is over 2,700 square feet with some of the structural upgrades that we'll see in this home. It has four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and as you can tell, it opens up to the second story when you first walk in. And like we saw earlier, the same goes in the living room where it has very tall ceilings. And this is really what I'm gonna hone in on when we walk through this floor plan. For a lot of buyers, they fixate on the numbers of real estate. For example, square footage is a big factor. And even though those things matter, what I think matters more is that feeling that you get when you walk through this home. And when you walk through this living room, you're hit with those tall ceilings, the natural lights coming in all throughout the back wall. You have great windows throughout this home. These are the things that make a big difference, both for livability in the home, as well as for resale. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. I wanna start off in the kitchen, which has the pantry area on the right side here. Fairly typical, I would say, for the square footage, maybe a little bit larger than usual. And then you have uh, the refrigerator on this side. And then of course it opens up to the living room and the dining area here in the back. On the kitchen island, we have a single basin sink with this very large gooseneck faucet. I have a client next week that's actually closing on their home that did this same faucet, but they did it in a matte black. It looks fantastic. I know they love it uh, and really good upgrades, I think, in this home. I'll get back into the kitchen in a second. I do want to show you this dining room because it just struck me while I was walking through this home that even at this square footage, look at all the windows that are here. It just feels like you're outside when you're in that dining room with all that natural light there and those larger windows. And then in the kitchen, I know they have the microwave over the stovetop. They usually do offer an upgrade option to move that to the side. So that would get you a built-in microwave and oven off to the side. And please verify that, of course, before making a buying decision that can vary from community to community. But in this community called Santa Rita Ranch, I do believe they currently have an option for that. Uh, we're gonna take a seat in this living room. As you can tell, it opened up to that second story where we'll get to the game room and media room that we saw early on in the video, and I'll show you that more in detail. Uh, from here, I do wanna get outside. I keep showing you all those windows that back up to all that greenery. And also this home does back up to the main road heading into this community. So throughout this video, if you do see a lot of cars going back there, it is because that's the main road in and out of this community. There are plenty of lots that don't back up to a road like this. If that's something that you do care Care about there are good opportunities to backing up to like mature trees or a green belt lot or something like that in fact in this community I have a client closing later on this month and they back up to an amazing green belt and all their windows on their Coventry home it's a different plan but similar style has all these windows in the back wall they all back up to this great green belt moving on in the backyard we have a fire pit with chairs around it and tea lights above it it looks fantastic but I do have to be clear most builders are not going to do anything for you in your backyard. Uh, in a lot of communities, they might just give you some you know, sod and sprinklers, which just gives you that grass. Uh, but in a model home, they're just giving you an idea here of what's possible in your backyard. As long as the HOA allows for it, you can do fun things like this in your backyard. Uh, and that's why I'm going to take a seat here because uh, we're in Texas. I think you can enjoy the outdoors so much more than other places that people keep flooding to Texas from. And when I say flooding, for a lot of people, they think it's all the people from California that are moving here. And I have to say, it's not just Californians. There are a lot of people that call me from the Northwest corridor of the United States, like Seattle is a big one, some Portland, mostly Seattle. And then a lot of people from the Northeast part of the United States, like that New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, DC, all and, and really the New England area too, like people around Boston. And I, I always ask what's appealing about Austin when people call me, like, why are they thinking of moving here? And I get the same answer every time. They mention the obvious, like uh, it's, a, it's a fast growing city, it's new growth. Uh, a lot of people call me, they're in tech, so they wanna be around tech companies or close by, but it's always the weather. They don't wanna do another winter is what I hear a lot of. And so if that's you, reach out to me, you're not alone. And that's exactly why I'm just gonna keep posting videos like this and show you backyards, because I, I want you to know what's possible here in Texas. 
Getting back into the plan, we are in the primary bedroom area. As we keep showing, there are great windows off that back wall. And if I didn't mention it before, this is a unique lot. I would say we don't typically see that large of a space in the backyard, but it is here in the model homes just because they did a lot. Uh, a decent amount of land for all the model homes that are here in this community and by the way they do have this plan for sale without the media room upstairs and so i'll post that in the description of this video and the pricing for that uh, and if you want a video of that home reach out to me and i'll get you situated uh, this is going to be the primary bathroom i like what they did here where they matched the tile with what was around the tub surround I wish they would have put that tile all the way into the closet. I like when the closet's right after the bathroom that if you extend the tile, I think it makes that space feel so much bigger. And I think for a lot of buyers, when they ask me what's best for resale, so if they're looking at, you know, buying this as a starter home and then, you know, selling it maybe in about five years and upgrading, what I always tell them is put your upgrades in the kitchen and that main living area. Look for, look for plans that open up really well, that have a lot of natural light and high ceilings. And then here in the primary bathroom, don't be afraid to put a little bit of money into the primary bathroom, uh, but just make sure the colors that you use are marketable for all buyers. And you can lean on the Coventry designer for that so that they can guide you on what's marketable because they do design inventory homes too that are just gonna be sold to the public while they're under construction. So they know what, what to help you pick if, if you need help. Now I say all that because again, if you're focusing in on resale in the future, when a buyer walks through your home and your home is for sale, they're gonna walk through that entrance through the front door, they're gonna walk through the main living area, that kitchen, dining room, living room, and then they're gonna go right to the primary bedroom and bathroom in a lot of cases. And by the time they walk through that primary bathroom, they've already made their decision on whether they're gonna buy your home or not. It's instinctual. And I get it, people will talk about the closet space and the spare bedroom upstairs, that's fine, but a lot of that is justification. They've usually already made their decision on whether they wanna buy or not when they walk through that main living area and the primary bedroom and bathroom. And that's why it's key to put your money there. Okay, moving on with the plan. This is a structural upgrade, what they're calling a master pocket office. It's just a built-in desk, as you saw there, and it takes space from the storage that's under the stairwell. So you could uh, use it as just what they're showing, like a kid's desk area. Some people use that as like a separate area in addition to the study that's on the first floor. Uh, so lots of different uses there. And then we are in the utility room. That door that we just saw would lead to a two-car garage, and your washer and dryer would be on that wall. And by the way, for the garage space, usually they have an option to add an extra garage bay or storage space in the garage, but you have to have a lot that's big enough to allow for that extra garage space. And you gotta pay for it, of course. Uh, this is gonna be that storage space that would normally be a, a, a little bit bigger from what I'm seeing in the plan, but that master pocket office did cut into that space, and that's why it's just a coat closet. And this is gonna be the front door. There's still a lot to show here on the first floor, and as you can tell above the front door, we have that fake plant. Uh, people always ask me on an empty home, what, what do we put up there? That's that's probably a pretty good example of what to put <laughs> if you if you felt like that looked good. And then this is going to be the study and even on the first floor, we'll still see another bedroom and a full bathroom here. So this is what I meant by square footage. It can be deceiving. They're doing a lot here on the first floor. And that's why I'm going to take a seat for a lot of buyers that are looking for more space. They won't work from home and they wanna know what it's like uh, to work from a home like this. That's why I take a seat here. Also gives you some pretty good ideas for decor. Like I like the floating shelves and the cabinet on the right side and a lot of color in there so you don't just have a bunch of white walls. And that's for, from what I hear, a lot of people are looking for a better work from home space. So I'm gonna keep, keep featuring those studies as well. Uh, this is gonna be the second bedroom downstairs. The windows can be different depending on the elevation of the home. That's the case with every builder. The elevation is just the front exterior aesthetic and that can change around windows. But I love what they did here with look at that window size. I didn't mean to feature my car in the window back there, uh, but I also did not have time to move it just to get that shot. I think you can still get a feel for how good that window looked. Uh, and you know, right outside this bedroom is a full bathroom and this is what i hear from a lot of buyers that are looking at that second bedroom down in case they have somebody elderly that doesn't want to go they don't want them going up and down the steps it's great to have this and to have uh, again this along with the study along with that 
master pocket office and then that primary bedroom bathroom and all those windows in the back wall all on the first floor and still a good amount of space upstairs which we're going to get to next this is the combination of why i'm here this is why i want to feature plants like this for so many people moving here oftentimes they compare their current home to homes that they can get here and i think that's a good idea but sometimes it can be very deceiving i had somebody who was in 2600 square feet in seattle but it was a three-story home it was an open concept all the rooms were separated from each other take a look at this home same square footage two-story plan though and everything is very open tall ceilings in the main living area you have uh, that front entrance that we just saw previously and then upstairs look take a look at how big this couch is in the game room area you have the chairs on the side as well everything's very open you have the three windows on the right side bringing in a good amount of natural light you have the ceiling pitched upward just raising it a little bit more just to make that space feel just a little bit bigger uh, and we haven't even seen the media room which is on the right side so there's even more space off of this if you choose to do a structural upgrade like that but this is what i think it's all about for so many people moving here they say oh this home feels so much more different than what we've seen where we currently live and and i think that that makes sense because again numbers can be slightly deceiving what i think matters more is that feeling that you get when you walk through these homes like when you get up here to this media room and everything opens up that feeling that you get is great for livability everything feels a little bit bigger you feel like you're just in a little bit more space and then also for buyers walking this home at resale, it's great for them too, because chances are they'll get that same feeling that you got when you first looked at this home. And that definitely plays a factor when you go to resale. What we're seeing in the distance, by the way, is a middle school that is on site. We are in the section of Santa Rita Ranch that is Liberty Hill ISD. Uh, and I'm not gonna go through ratings. If you want to know about schools or ratings, I talk about it every single week with my client. Just reach out to me and I'd be happy to walk you through that. Um, a great community. That's why I'm here a lot. Uh, I have a lot of closings here in the near future. Uh, it's just a great community for livability where there's a lot of liveliness. People are very active in this community. And that's because there's amenity centers, there's on-site events. And then in the Liberty Hill ISD section, there's currently on-site schools. So very active neighborhood, a lot of fun to be in from what I'm hearing from homeowners. Now on the other side of this uh, home, uh, on the second floor here, we have two bedrooms and then in between them, we have a full bathroom. What I like about these spare bedrooms is currently they have a, this nook area for a desk, which is right here. I keep saying currently just because I wanna be clear, builders do change these plans over time. So if you are seeing them in the future, and regardless of whether you're seeing it at the time of posting or in the future, double check these things. These builders build in so many different communities, like Coventry, I think is in 20 plus communities in the Austin Metro. Uh, they can sometimes make changes from community to community as they get uh, authorization from the developer on some of these plans. Uh, some developments have different restrictions against certain square footage on a certain size lot. There's so many unique parts of real estate and building homes. So you definitely wanna verify these things before actually buying. And while we go through this full bathroom and then the last bedroom that's next to this, I do wanna clarify what I mentioned earlier in the video when I said, don't always use me as a realtor. And I often talk about this in my videos and give examples because I think it's really important. When I say don't always use me as a realtor, it's very simple. I focus on a very specific niche of real estate. I don't wanna go through the, what that niche is because it's a lot of details, it's very long-winded. But the point is when people reach out to me, I identify if they have criteria that fits my niche. If they have criteria where I feel like there's another realtor that's focused on that specific niche of real estate that can cater to that client, I'm very quick to refer them to that other realtor because I'm not focused on taking on everybody with me and being the realtor that does the most volume in Austin or the most in the United States. I'm more focused on providing as much value as possible, meaning quality over quantity. And a good example of that is I just had my friend reach out to me who wanted me to list their home. And I looked up their neighborhood. There was a listing agent that was dominating. They always have listings in their area. They clearly know how to market that area really well. And I told my friend, look at the data. Nobody's gonna sell their home for more money than this listing agent because that's their niche, that's what they're good at. 
and I connected my friend and I know that they're they're really set up for success working with that listing agent. So my information is in the description of this video. Reach out to me. I'll be very upfront with you. And then if you like this Coventry model home, you want to see another one that's larger and has a massive kitchen island, check out the Zavala plan on your screen. It's a fantastic plan. As always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.